northern bald ibis Gerontigus eremita is classified as critically endangered, the highest threat category according to Yukon criteria, with the only remaining wild colonies known in Morocco and Syria. Unknown facts about northern bald ibis 1. Ibis is a wading bird that belongs to the family of ibises and spoonbills. There are 28 species of ibis that can be found around the world. 2. Dot ibis can reach 18 to 41 inches in height and 0.6 to 4 pounds of weight. 3. Long, curved bill facilitates extraction of the food from the mud. Nostrils are located at the base of the bill. Thanks to this feature, ibis can breathe even while its bill is submerged in the water. 4. Ibis can survive 8 to 15 years in the wild and up to 25 years in the captivity. 5. The ibises are a group of long-legged wading birds in the family Threshkionithidae that inhabit wetlands, forests and plains. Ibis derives from the Latin and ancient Greek word for this group of birds. It also occurs in the scientific name of the cattle egret mistakenly identified in 1757 as being the sacred ibis. 6. Northern bald ibis eat a wide variety of foods, especially grasshoppers, locusts, mole crickets, crickets, beetles and small reptiles. They will also eat most other invertebrates and small vertebrates they can find, including scorpions, snails, worms, frogs and fish. 7. The Australian white ibis is widespread in eastern, northern and southwestern Australia. It occurs in marshy wetlands, often near open grasslands and has become common in Australian East Coast city parks and rubbish dumps in the urban areas of Wollongong, Sydney, Perth, the Gold Coast, Brisbane, and Townsville. 8. The northern bald ibis vanished from the wild as a breeding species due to known threats along the migratory route, including hunting and habitat degradation. 9. These birds cause inconvenience. They lurk around and harass you for food. Most people in Australia dislike these birds, because they're annoying and try to steal food. 10. Results from a study of ibis viral serology and bacterial culture that indicate that ibis are hosts of zoonotic and livestock pathogens, such as Salmonella SBP, Newcastle disease virus, avian influenza virus, and flaviviruses in Australia. The discovery that at least one colony still persists in the Palmyra region, was therefore highly significant and arguably the most significant orthothological discovery in the last 30 years anywhere in the Middle East. The tiny colony consisted of three breeding pairs and have been quite successfully producing fledged young in several of the years since rediscovery. The breeding area in Syria was declared a protected area in 2004 by Ministry of Agriculture and Agrarian Reform. It was also declared as an by BirdLife in 2007. As this bird is classified as critically endangered by BirdLife on behalf of the Yukon. Ensuring the survival of the last wild colony still breeding in Syria would make a contribution to conservation of biodiversity heritage not only on a national but also on a global scale. These few bald ibis survivors have become a symbol of the extreme degradation of the Syrian al -Badiya. A biodiversity-rich landscape which is presently in an advanced stage of desertification, and there is a need for immediate action to address these wider ecosystem-scale land degradation problems if the bald ibis is to survive in the wild in the long term. BirdLife International through its Middle East Division in cooperation with Royal Society for the Protection of Birds RSBB, BirdLife Partner in the UK, has led the bald ibis conservation work in Syria in close cooperation with the Syrian General Commission for Albadia Management and Development, and the Syrian Society for the Conservation of Wildlife SSCW. The BirdLife slash RSBB Ibis Conservation Program in cooperation with local project partners, has managed to trap and satellite tag three adult birds. This tagging initiative, has revealed the earlier mystery of the migration route and wintering ground which turned out to be Ethiopia. The tiny colony migrate after the breeding season to the wintering grounds in Ethiopia. 
with stop-offs in Saudi Arabia and Yemen, starting the migration in mid-July and returning to Palmyra around mid-February. Leaving a big gap in monitoring, and protecting them while wintering. Satellite tagging has revealed that this population migrates south through Jordan and Saudi Arabia, six birds spent three weeks in Yemen, July to August. Then four of which wintered in central Ethiopia, migrating back to Syria. Through Eritrea, Sudan, Saudi Arabia and Jordan in February. This bald ibis conservation project will help in enhancing the survival chance in the future. Taking advantage of a significant breakthrough as a result of the successful satellite tagging of three adult birds in Syria. This gives us an opportunity to undertake conservation action for the species in the wintering grounds, countries at migration route, as well as in the breeding ground Syria. The Syrian population of northern bald ibises is teetering on the edge of oblivion. In fact, the whole species is critically endangered, one step away from extinction. Despite extensive protection in Syria, numbers are down to four by 2012. Hunting and other pressures away from the breeding grounds seems to have been the cause of decline. So satellite tracking the birds is a vital tool for learning how to help the northern bald ibis. This international cooperation couldn't happen without conservationists, governments, researchers, funders and individuals all working together. Generous contributions from Monaco Foundation, through the PEP program were mobilized towards supporting the conservation and supplementation program. Also the Saudi Wildlife Authority contributed to critical monitoring program during the birds migration through the country. Things you didn't know about northern bald ibis. Where does the northern bald ibis live? The population in Syria migrates south, overwintering in Ethiopia. Northern bald ibis live in a variety of habitats including arid and semi-arid areas with cliffs and steep slopes, agricultural fields and mountain meadows. What kind of bird is an ibis? The ibises are a group of long-legged wading birds in the family Threshkionithidae that inhabit wetlands, forests and plains. Why, ibis are hated. Cause, their natural habitat, has been destroyed and they've moved into cities and towns because of that. They're everywhere and they'll fly at you with those ugly long beaks and ruin your picnic and fun. I haven't met that many people that absolutely hate them though. They're mostly gross and annoying. Why the Ibis sacred in Egypt? The Ibis bird was sacred to and associated with Thoth the god of wisdom and writing. Thoth was often represented in the form of a man's body with the head of the Ibis and was the patron of the educated scribes who were responsible for the administration of Egypt. Why is an Ibis called a bin chicken? Due to its increasing presence in the urban environment and its habit of rummaging in garbage, the species has acquired a variety of colloquial names such as tip turkey and bin chicken. How many northern bald ibis are left? Today, however, all that's left of the northern bald ibis is a small population of around 600 wild birds in Morocco. A semi-wild population, dependent on captive breeding, of about 200 individuals in southern Turkey, and perhaps a few individuals in East Africa. What is a flock of ibis called? A group of ibis is as many collective nouns, including a congregation, stand, and wedge of ibises. Are ibis birds dangerous? While they are quite harmless, some people find their large size, and particularly their beak, intimidating. Ibis droppings can modify the environment so that it can no longer sustain particular plants. This means they can be a problem in botanical gardens and some reserves. What does seeing an ibis mean? The ibis is a general term for long-legged bird. If this bird is given to one as an animal totem then it denotes a graceful and well-balanced individual. Their beauty is feminine in quality. 
They possess a lengthy bill that is curved downward. The ibis is a symbol of communication, probing, transition, and trust. Are ibis pests? Ibis are considered a pest because they pose a threat to aircraft safety, scavenge food at waste management sites, cafes and parks, and compete with other native species for food and habitat. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment on what would you like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. Animal Facts 101